All right, 10 options incoming. Okay, this is the first outfit. Let me know what you think. I am literally obsessed with this outfit, even though it's so simple, I just, I love it. So let's break it down. If I don't know what to wear, I will immediately put on a white tank top and my favorite pair of jeans because you can never have a bad outfit starting with those two basics. The way that I like to spice up such a simple outfit is with a thrifted men's business shirt. Actually this one, probably is a woman's shirt now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I thrifted this. I'm obsessed with the colors. I think the color scheme of this whole outfit is just so light and fresh and summery and fun. And I think it looks really great with my lighter hair. And like, if I had a tan, it would look good. I don't have a tan right now, but that's totally fine. And because there's so many different colors in this business shirt, a fun way that I like to spice up a basic outfit is by matching my accessories with the, you know, a different color in the shirt. This for me is like such an easy casual day outfit. So like going out for a picnic, going to an art gallery, going for a pub lunch, something that's like a little bit more casual. Honestly, I would personally wear this on a night out cause I just like don't really care to ever dress fancy, but it's a great go-to casual outfit. And whenever I don't know what to wear, I wear this. Okay, I just sent you the second outfit. It should come through in a sec. These pants are seriously, unbelievable these are the princess polly archer pants and truly they are actually worth the hype i feel like i always hear about these trendy items of clothing that you know they aren't that worth the hype but trust me these are amazing the quality is great the fit is unbelievable i'm kind of a short gal i think i'm around 163 centimeters and they fall so perfectly on my feet i love the length of these pants the way that they kind of drape and they honestly go with everything but this is just one of my favorite ways to style them which is super casual because that is my style so just a plain white crop top with the pants some air force ones and then i really love styling up with this little tiny little mini bag but you can spice this up however you like literally it would look great with a black pair of sunnies a little fuzzy hat love this outfit 10 out of 10 i feel so comfortable so confident and that those are seriously the two main things for me when dressing i need to be comfortable or i will not feel confident so if i can find an outfit that ticks both boxes I'm a happy gal and this truly does it. Okay, I feel very good about this next outfit. I would genuinely like to be buried in this outfit. I think this is so cute. I don't, I, we need to talk this through because I can't specifically pinpoint what I find so cute about this outfit. It might be the complementary colors, purple and green, my absolute favorite color combo. Honestly, it just looks so cute. I also love the white. I'm definitely more of like a white light colors kind of gal. I do love an all black outfit, which we'll get to later, but not normally for daytime, but this is so cute. And what I love is the length of this business shirt, which I thrifted by the way, the fact that it hits below the skirt. Also speaking of the skirt, this seriously is the most flattering skirt on my body type. I, it's just so nice. This specific one isn't being sold anymore, but I have managed to find a dupe, but honestly, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. These boots I thrifted and yeah, these two, the two tops were also thrifted in second hand, but I literally just love this outfit. And one of my favorite things about this outfit is the second that you get over wearing a crop top and a skirt, you can just do up the men's button up and it becomes like a little dress. And because you're already wearing a skirt underneath, you don't have to worry about your bum falling out or anything. Like it's literally so versatile. This is genuinely one of my favorite summer outfits because it does get really hot here in Australia. So I like the fact that there are layers. I can take off the business shirt if I get too hot and just wear the skirt and the top. But if I get a little cold or if I just want to cover up a little bit more, I can do up the button up. I just love a versatile outfit and I genuinely am obsessed with this outfit. It's a 10 out of 10. Let me know if you got outfit four. 
I mean, look at this outfit. <laughs> I actually, I can't expect that everyone's gonna like all of these outfits, definitely, because, you know, we all have different styles, but I just feel like this outfit is subjectively cute, okay? I love the brown and the blue. These are complementary colors again, so the opposites on the color wheel, and I just love this color combination for some reason. It's so stunning and then I love pairing it with these glasses which have kind of like a brownie orange lens which I just think really ties this whole outfit together. These brown jeans you guys always ask me where they're from and they are thrifted and they don't even have a tag which is just such a shame because I would love for everyone to own these jeans. I love that they're really slouchy, super big, but they're nice and fitted on the bum and the waist. And then I'm just wearing my white ribbed singlet again. This cardigan is old. It's from some fast fashion brand, literally like years and years ago, and it's falling apart, but I will hang on to this until it literally crumbles in front of me because I love it with this outfit so much. And then these glasses are from a brand called Rotoro. If you guys don't know, cause there are a lot of new people joining the channel, which by the way, hello, you spicy little bean. But if you guys don't know, the way that I found my personal style was through playing with color and through complementary colors specifically. So this was one of the first cool outfits I really ever put together. And the fact that I'm still wearing it now is a testament to how cute I think it is. All right. The next outfit should have just come through now. I literally had to do this outfit even though it's literally just one piece of clothing because this is seriously the most comfortable dress ever and I have always been a sucker for a shirt dress but this one is just the nicest fabric. I I don't care that it's like baggy. That's a vibe that I personally love. This one is from Princess Polly, but I bought it on Depop and it's honestly the best thing ever. Whenever I don't know what to wear to like a lunch or a breakfast, or I don't know, I honestly don't socialize that much, but this is just the perfect like running errands, casual day out dress and I love it. And also if you wanna wear it in the winter, you can throw on a pair of tights, throw on like a sweater vest. It's very versatile. You can also wear it open like similar to how I wore that other green shirt with a little skirt very versatile and I just I honestly love this okay those ones were all super casual so now I'm gonna send five more nighttime appropriate outfits so here is the first one Obviously, I'm starting off on the more casual side, but just as a note, I am a very, very casual person, so I will always dress the most casually possible for the event. So I would very happily wear this out for drinks. I would go clubbing in this. I would wear this on a first date. Um, I love this outfit. I love that it's all black, but it doesn't feel all black because we have a lot of little white accents. So the white sneakers with the white bag, and then I'm obsessed with this white outline on this top the cut is so nice like I'm such a fan of a square neck cut I find that it really is suits my body type very very well but yeah I love this outfit so these pants are from Glassens they're just like high-waisted fake leather pants this top is also from Glassens but this one I think I bought on Depop this bag is from Teddy Blake and then these are my Air Force ones and I literally love this I would also happily wear this out in the daytime with just a pair of black sunnies as well but it is definitely a bit more of like a night out drinks kind of look for me. Help, do we like the next outfit I sent you? Whenever me and my friends have a group dinner, we'll always be like, what's everyone wearing? And the answer is always jeans and a nice top. And for me, this is the perfect jeans and a nice top outfit. I think this outfit is perfect for a date, a group dinner, going out to a nice little bar. Probably wouldn't wear this clubbing, but like, it's so cute and just so simple. Like I think a black, any kind of black silky top is so nice because it somehow feels a little bit more fancy and a little bit more elevated than just like a bl plain black crop top. So this one's like a black, really beautiful silky material. It has a really deep V, which I think is a little bit saucy, a little bit spicy, you know? I wouldn't wear this personally out in the daytime. So I love having this top on hand for a little night out. And then I love a pair of jeans. In case you can't tell, I love a comfy pair of jeans, but I think it still looks quite fancy and just, I don't know, this is like the perfect dinner outfit for me. And then I've chosen to pair it with these like heeled black sandals because I think for some reason having some skin showing down here kind of 
balances the skin that's showing up here. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but I've tried this outfit with boots and it just doesn't hit the same. Okay, a spicy one has just come through. Text me what you think. If you guys watched my closet clean out, you would know that this dress is something I love so much, but I've always felt just a little bit too insecure to wear it out but since that video you guys will be so proud i have been truly working so hard on my confidence and like just feeling really good in the clothes that i wear and i've worn this out lots of times now and i honestly love it so much i think it's the cutest little dress love the little cutout love a deep v as you guys know from the last outfit i've worn this on date nights i've worn this clubbing i don't go clubbing very much because i absolutely hate it but i have worn this clubbing and i've worn this to a girls dinner and it slapped every time it's so cute and if you guys have never seen this dress before it also has this really cute back kind of tie detail such a vibe love this dress if you guys have ever struggled with your confidence in a tight dress I feel you but honestly it feels so good to just wear it this outfit slaps and thank you all for encouraging me to wear it out because truly nobody cares what you wear so just wear what you want wear what you feel good in and don't worry about what anyone else thinks about you because nobody's thinking about you they're all thinking about themselves and that should empower us okay what do we think about this one this outfit is such a staple for me. Like I have worn this so many times, going out for dinner, going to gigs. This dress is so cute. I love the shape that it gives me. So when I take the jacket off, it's a little bit like, whoa, she's got a waist, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I just love the way that the white looks with this deep maroon color. I also love the way that the maroon looks with the gold hardware on the bag. Such small details, but they make such a difference. This outfit will never go out of style either. It's just so simple, so classic. The only annoying thing is this dress has so many stains on it because it is thrifted. So if anyone knows how to actually get stains out of a white dress, please let me know. They're like, they look like permanent marker stains. So I've just been wearing it anyway, but if you have any tips, let me know. Okay, I just sent you a little corset moment. Let me know when you get it. So this is a variation of the outfit I wore on my birthday. I actually just wore this corset with this skirt and then I believe I brought like a leather jacket, but I basically just wore it without the blazer. This outfit makes me feel so good. It snatches me, but I also do feel really comfortable in it still, which is so good. And then I did decide to throw on this oversized blazer because if if I was going out for dinner or something, I would realistically take a jacket with me and wear it, but then I would probably take it off at the dinner table. So that oversized blazer is from Glassens. This corset is also from Glassens. This skirt is from Depop. I do not know the brand. Actually, it might be a brand called Neon Heart. That's what's coming up. But anyway, as I said, I will link everything that I can down below. But yeah, honestly, I just feel so cute in this outfit. And I think we all need an outfit that we just feel really fucking spicy in. We deserve that. Everyone deserves an outfit that they just feel so spicy in.